Hi, I'm John Butine with Potable Aqua, and I'm here to demonstrate for you how to use the Potable Aqua Pure electrolytic water purifying device. Hopefully, uh, when you've seen this video, you will be able to train end users in the field on how to use it as simply as this. In the box comes a pouch, and inside are all the components that you need. The most important one is the device itself. I'll briefly walk you through the device. It is handheld. It has only one button, the orange one, and that orange button selects through the options of cycles, starts the cycle, and also there's a uh, flashlight on the bottom which you can be activated. There's a chamber underneath this blue cover for carrying out the electrolytic activity. On top are two chambers for carrying salt. This one has some salt in it. This one does not yet. The measured amount of salt in there will be useful. On the bottom is a USB port, a mini charging port, for charging the device. A fully charged device will be sufficient to make the uh, mixed oxidant solution for treating about 150 liters of water. If you are away from power, have no source, you can use the solar panel on the back and in bright sunlight an hour of charging will provide sufficient charge to make oxidant for about two liters of water. That's all there is to the, the device. Also in the box is a small bottle. We call it the brine bottle where you can pre-make a small amount of salt solution. There's a source of salt. Uh, also in the container in the box is a charging cord where you can charge from AC or you can remove this to charge from a laptop or any other device having a normal size USB port. Now, how to use the device? You start by making a brine solution. As I mentioned, if you uh, use the uh, chamber as a measurement device, pour in salt till it's approximately full and uh, pour that amount of salt into the brine bottle. At some point, if you're an experienced user, you'll realize about how full you need to get this brine bottle to make a batch. And the measurements are not critical. This is enough for uh, probably 10 uses of this device, so you won't have to go through this part every single time. As I said, measurements are not critical. That is about enough. Next, fill it with water. Uh, this is the water that we will be treating. So I do not guarantee that this is safe drinking water at this moment, but it will be. Fill it full. Again, the measurement is not accurate and not critical. Your definition of full. And now we will stir this up shake it till it dissolves. It only takes a very little bit of time for that amount of salt to dissolve. The reason I've said a couple times that the device is, uh, that the measurement is not critical is that the device will actually alert you if you put in inadequate amount of salt or inadequate amount of brine. All right, now to make the mixed oxidant solution, pull the uh, chamber sealing lid open and you can tuck it behind uh, the thing to hold it open and simply pour in some of the brine solution that you've made and it's fully dissolved at this point. Here again I'll say your definition of full. It doesn't need to overflow, in fact that's kind of a mess, uh, but if you underfill it the device will alert you that you have not put in adequate amount of solution. The next thing to do is to select how much water you're going to treat and I will not tilt this one but I will tilt this device and show you that if I press this button it shows me the options of liters of water, quarts of water that I can treat. I'm going to treat about two liters of water, I press it a second time and then once I have brine in here if I press and hold this it will initiate the the electrolytic operation to make the mixed oxidant. If 
I did not put in sufficient salt, which in this unit I put none in, and I command it to make brine solution, it puts on an alert that says no salt or low salt, and in that case I know I have, a, I made a problem and I will not make adequate water. And in that case, I should add a little bit more salt, or maybe fill this more full, whichever is the need. Once you have adequate amount of salt in the chamber, again, uh, press and hold the orange button. The light for my selected two liters of water flashes briefly, and immediately the chamber starts foaming. You might be able to see that. You can hear it and see the foaming. Electrolytically, what's happening is the salt solution is being converted to hypochlorite and peroxide and some other oxidants. Together, we call it a mixed oxidant solution. The beauty of the mixed oxidant as a disinfectant is it's very potent, and it leaves behind a residual that can help maintain the, um, the suitability of the water for drinking during some time, prevent biogrowth in the container that you've treated. This is already done. It takes only a short amount of time to prepare that amount of mixed oxidant. Something I did not point out about the device is it has molded in troughs within the case such that it helps uh, to pour the water. And now I simply treat the water that I wish to drink by pouring in the amount of liquid that was in that treating chamber. It's a good idea to cover the uh, chamber up because it contains very strong oxidant. And at this point, the, the water that you're treating, simply mix it, stir it, or whatever is the appropriate way of agitating to mix the oxidant around within that amount of water that you're treating. And now you need to wait 30 minutes before you can drink this water. It takes that long for the oxidant to kill the bacteria and viruses that may be in the water. And if you have cryptosporidia, you have to wait four hours because that little critter takes a lot to kill. But the water at that point will be safe. So if that amount of time has gone by, your water should be safe to drink. If you are concerned about whether you've adequately treated this water, we also have in the kit this small bottle of test strips. And they are chlorine test strips that test whether there's residual chlorine in the treated water. So if the water itself has had so much um, microbiological content that the chlorine that we added did not adequately treat it, then we will find that out. Um, the test strips have a little pad on one end, hard to see from a distance, but it's easy to see. And on the package is a color strip comparison, comparison chart. After 30 minutes or four hours of water, of time has gone by to treat the water, you can test the water to see whether you've done an adequate job. All you need to do is wet the strip with that water for about 10 seconds. And during that time, the pad will change color and you'll compare it to the color chart on the package. That should be about enough. Come to the color chart and see whether you meet with the middle, labeled OK, or even darker, the OK plus, that you have adequate um, oxidant in the water that's been treated and therefore you know it's safe. If your color of your strip is lighter than this and matches up more with the uh, top one, which is not okay or is even lighter yet, then you should go back and make another treatment cycle with this device and retreat your water before you drink it to be ensured that you're safe. Okay, that's all it takes to operate this device. Um, things that we've reviewed is the device itself will make as much uh, oxidant as you need to treat the designated amount of water. It requires no accessories or replacement parts other than a source of salt, which you can find in many places. There is nothing more needed. You will need to be able to charge at various times, and if you are without power, of course, you can use the solar panel. Um, one thing about the mixed oxidant is that uh, the water will be safe and can be stored for a short amount of time before you consume it. The device itself is rated for 60,000 60, liters of water. And uh, there are some in the field that have 
produced about 120,000 liters at this time. So that in the absence of any um, replacement parts or accessories, you have a long use time ahead for this simple handheld device. Um, finally, uh, we're hoping that this video has shown you how easy it is to use, that you will be able to walk end users through its use and safe use. If there is more information that you wish to see, there is in the package a quick start guide that uh, very quickly goes through these instructions. If you desire more information, there's an operator's manual that has everything to do with the product listed. And if you need further comments or questions, there will be a link shown here that you can contact to uh, get more information. We thank you for watching.